Annyeong doobies! Today I'm going to taste test Kam Kam, aka persimmons, is one of the most iconic fruits we have in Korea. It's in season right now, and I wanted to explain some of the different forms it takes in its lifetime. So the first kam is called Daibungam, which is slightly on the underripe side. It's still edible, but it's notorious for being extremely bitter because of all the tannins it has. So definitely not my favorite. Oh, also, you gotta peel them. The skin is pretty vibrant, so you wanna peel the skin before you bite into it. Next stop, Tangam. Pretty good. It's firm and crunchy, but slightly soft on the inside, just like your. If you leave Tangam in a cool shaded place for about 10 days, it will turn into this juicy orange hongsi. It tastes 10 times sweeter and it feels like you're almost biting into a sweet juicy jellyfish. I don't know. It's the closest description I can think of. And 50 more days later is this kotgam. It's a dried persimmon with almost a fruit jelly texture and it is extremely sweet. It has a lot of similar sweetness to dried date, but I must say my favorite is the hongsi. And let me know if you want me to cook with it.